Our website, www.writeedition.com, sells cigars. And recently we had a complaint. Hey, how dare you sell cigars on your website? Hey, Mom, I got to say, you know what? They're right-wing cigars. We would never sell a cigar from Cuba. We would never support the communist system. Maybe there's a consolation of that, hopefully, in any event, in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Recently, a private member's bill was introduced to make it mandatory for Alberta schools to allow for the creation of gay, straight alliances. Now, the good news is it was voted down. Down. I mean, the bad news is nobody understands it anyway. I guess we're just not smart enough. What is it about these people, <laughs> the gay people, that seem to think that they have to force themselves upon the straight community? One, possibly two percent of the entire population is gay. I mean, and they command about 95 percent of all of the press time in the nation. What's going on? Go marry a bail of hay. Who would care anyway? But, but don't keep telling me that I got to be present when you're fooling around with a bail of hay. I mean, this thing is bizarre. Are. And this guy says, the guy that put the bill down, he says, I don't understand this issue. I mean, students want other students to hear their stories. Do they? Go ask the students. I don't think so. I mean, people are mostly straight. Leave us alone. I gotta say, these people are pretty warped. They keep on trying to force themselves upon us. <laughs> and with the law to legislate something like that, Good grief. Here's a man. His name is Robert Richards. He's an heir of the DuPont family, and recently he was spared prison. Not recently so much. It was 2009, but he was sentenced at that time to an eight-year time in prison for being a pervert. He raped his daughter, and the daughter was a couple of years old. Good grief. And the judge said, you know what? I don't think he'd do very well in the, in the system, <laughs> so I'm going to spare him that. I'm going to give him probation at home. And that's what happened. He did get registered finally though was a sex offender and he's prohibited from having contact with children under the age of 16 including his own children but you know what this is just so wrong hang them I've mellowed a lot because of my age. I mean, I used to say torture them and then kill them. But now I say just kill them. He's a bloody pervert and he can't be fixed. Here's a guy, a good guy. He's in Berlin's in Ontario, Canada. He momentarily unbuckled his seatbelt. He was actually at a stop sign. He looked behind him at his back seat. There was no one there, but he had a cup of coffee and it was spilling. He was stopped. He was not mobile. He unbuckled his belt. He reached around behind him. He righted up the, the cup. So he wouldn't have spillage. A police officer saw him, came over and rapped in the window and said, aha, gotcha, gave him a ticket, $100 fine. The guy said, I don't think this is nice. He went to court, he's been in court for three years, he lost. Finally, there's a, <laughs> a 3,500 word decision that says, you lose and you don't get to win, that's the law. And the car wasn't even moving. How dumb is that? And I gotta tell you, in a car, you can't kill yourself anymore. Anyway, you don't even need a seat belt. There's nine or 10 airbags come out and smack you every time you <laughs> have an accident or something. Columbus, Ohio, there's billboards up there now that says this, that say this, Jesus is a Muslim. The billboards are put up by a group, of course, of Muslims that, are, that's, <laughs> that said, that is described as ask a Muslim. According to Islamic teaching, Jesus is just one of many prophets and Islam considers that all prophets are Muslim and Muhammad was the best and biggest prophet and he has final authority. Pastor Thomas, uh, out of a Christian church in that area, he has stated this, if this billboard were a court of law, in a court of law it would be called perjury, in the court of public opinion it is called slander, it's defamation in character, and somebody should go to jail. Everybody's fighting, he goes on to say, Muhammad belongs over there, Jesus belongs here. Good God, God bless everybody, y'all come back tomorrow, we're going to more for you. From the right, see ya.